hi welcome to this excel video tutorial in this tutorial i'm gonna show us how to use the choose and the x lookup functions to choose and look up value stored in a different workbook therefore let's get started in this current workbook we have this customer code sheet with different columns that spans from the product id to total now in the other workbook we have this table that consists of the product id product and the unit price for this we're going to use the xlookup function to return the appropriate column based on the lookup value now in column f we have this different payment method and we are going to use the choose function to choose one of these based on the index number now to do that effortlessly we need to display the two workbook side by side now to display the two workbooks come to the view tab of the ribbon and under the window group click on arrange all by default we have the tab so that's pretty fine click on ok absolutely cool so we have the two workbook displayed now let's come to the this workbook where we need to get the data returned to now in column c we have the payment method and we have to the column b the code which is the index number so in here i'm going to use the choose function now choose chooses a value or action to perform from a list of values based on an index number now the first argument is the index number so i'm going to click on the value in cell b5 which has this structured reference nomenclature then i'm going to put in a comma now for the value one i need to come to this other workbook so i'm going to click on this first and the second one select the cell okay so i can click on mastercard in cell f4 i'm going to put in a comma now for the value two let's follow the screen tips i'm going to click on the visa card comma and for the value three click on perfect morning comma and finally we have the screw now we have actually referenced these cells from the different workbook so when i actually come here we can actually see that they have what is called an absolute cell reference in the destination you know cells that is the workbook so that is pretty what we want because when this formula is going down we want this to remain absolutely the source and i'm going to close the choose formula and deploy control enter absolutely cool so for every payment method code one it's returned mastercard for all the two it returned visa card for all the three perfect money and screw and so on okay that is how to use the choose function across different workbook now let's do the product so in i'm going to use the x lookup function now the x lookup requires the lookup value now from these two different you know data what is peculiar to one another is the product id column here and also we have the product id in the other workbook so i'm going to just click on cell a5 and which also return the structured reference in nomenclature which is the lookup value comma now the lookup array where we can actually see each of these lookup value okay is i'm going to come to this sheet that is the price list then because this data is in an excel table so i'm going to grab the entire column then put in a comma now for the return array we want to actually return the product the corresponding product based on the lookup value so i'm going to click on this and of course the x lookup perform exact match by default so that is all we need in this formula so i'm going to close the x lookup and control enter absolutely cool so it returned the corresponding product based on the lookup value and let's do the same thing for the unit price i'm going to just copy this formula so or let's just run everything in column f equal sign x lookup now the lookup value still remain the same so i'm going to click on this comma and i want to look up at this array so i'm going to select the entire array comma and we want to return the corresponding unit price and that's all close the x lookup control enter 
absolutely cool. So we have looked up the corresponding unit price and then let's expand this and let's do the final operation which is to calculate the total. Now the total is going to be unit price multiplied by the quantity. So let's do equal sign unit price multiplied by quantity control enter and that gives us the total so when i come down to the last cell so the total for this customer code is 57 million three twenty seven thousand eighteen dollars so this is essentially how we use the choose and the explicable function across different workbook i hope you enjoyed this video if you do give likes comment and share Thank you and bye for now.